Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to host your website for free using the platform called Netlify. I'll also be showing you how to add a custom domain name to your Netlify hosted website and finally I'll be showing you how to enable HTTPS encryption using SS certification given to you by Netlify which allows you to cover your Apex domain name and all subdomain names. So they offer you a wildcard SSL certificate which is an amazing service for a free website hosting provider. Before we get started I'm just going to minimize this and I'm going to show you how my website's files and my website looks offline. So I'm just going to double click this websplaining.com folder and hit index.html. And as you can see, there is my website hosted offline on my desktop. Let's close out of this and begin the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is navigate to www.netlify.com. Once you're on the home page, you need to sign up for an account. Hit the sign up button. Once you're here, you're going to need to choose a sign up method. You can either sign up by GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket or email address. If you don't have any of these three version control accounts then you'll need to sign up the traditional way which is by email. You enter your email, you pick a password, you get a verification to your email that you need to click on to verify it's you. I'm going to go through the GitHub method because I have a GitHub account. Left click on this. Once you're here you're going to need to click Authorize Netlify to allow them access to your GitHub account. Once you've done that, you'll be taken to this page where you have a quick start guide that you can follow if you want. I'm going to X out of this because I'm familiar with how Netlify works. There are two ways to upload your website's files onto Netlify. The first method is to drag your files from a folder into this box here on Netlify, or you can create a new site from Git, such as GitHub, GitLab or Bitbucket. I'll show you how to upload your files through Git on another video. For this video I'm going to keep it simple and we're going to upload our files by dragging the files into this box. So let's minimize this window and X out of this. Now you need to search and find the folder that contains your website's files. As you can see the folder that contains my website files is this one here. So you're going to need to drag this folder into the Netlify's box for uploading your files. So I'm just going to move this to the side here and I'm going to maximize Netlify's website and then restore down. This gives you an easy access to the folder containing your website's files and you simply just left click and drag into the box here. And as you can see now the file is being uploaded. Let's maximize this window here. And there you have it. Your site is deployed, which means basically the website has been uploaded. And here's the URL of your website hosted on Netlify. Left click on it to see it. And there you have it. Your website is hosted for free on Netlify. Now the URL for the Netlify website is randomly generated. And as you can see, mine says elegant Saha and then a bunch of numbers, netlify.app. We want to change this. So go back to the Netlify website, hit site settings. Scroll down and you'll be able to change site name. Left click on it. Left click the site name text box and delete the contents and then give it a name to whatever you desire. So I'm going to go with Websplaining and then I'm going to hit save. Let's go back to the top here and click overview. Now let's hit this new URL that we have for our website. As you can see it's much neater and tidier than the previous URL that Netlify automatically generated for us. Now we're going to move on to step two of this guide and that is adding a custom domain name to your Netlify hosted website. Let me just X out of both these tabs here. Okay, let's just scroll down a bit here. As you can see, step one is your site is deployed. Check and that's done. Now we're going to set up our custom domain. Left click on this and add the custom domain name that you own. Mine is going to be www.websplaining.com. Left click on verify. You'll then get a piece of text that says websplaining.com already has an owner. Is it you? You want to hit yes, add domain. Let's scroll back up to the top here to where it says custom domains. As you can see, the current default domain name is the Netlify domain name given to us. The second is our subdomain name, which is our primary domain. And the third is the Apex domain name. 
we need to add Netlify's domain name servers to our custom domain name host. So we need to left click on this where it says check DNS configuration and then you'll want to hit set up Netlify DNS for websplaining.com. It will say your website's name here. Left click on this. Click verify. Yes, add domain name. Scroll down and hit continue. You will now be taken to this page where you'll be given Netlify's domain name servers and you'll need to change your domain's name servers to Netlify's. In my case, my custom domain name provider is Namecheap. If you don't have a custom domain name currently, then I'll recommend buying one from Namecheap.com. I will add my affiliate link in the description below. You'll save a bit of money and I'll make a bit of money. So let's open up a new tab here and navigate to our custom domain name host. So in my case, it's namecheap.com. So www.namecheap.com. Hit enter to be taken to the website. Once you're here, you'll need to sign in at the top left here. Okay, so once you've logged into Namecheap, you'll want to select the domain name that you want to point to Netlify's DNS. So in my case, it's going to be websplaining.com and you want to left click manage. Once you're here, scroll down to where it says name service and you'll want to change where it says Namecheap basic DNS to custom DNS. If it's already on custom DNS, you want to remove the current name servers that you have here. If it's blank, you're going to want to add the name servers in the other tab given to you by Netlify. So I'm just going to go back to the tab here and I'm going to copy the first DNS. Go back to your custom domain name host and put in the first name server. And go back to the tab and do this for the remaining three name servers. And control V. And then copy the final name server. Once you've populated the Namecheap custom DNS with Netlify's name servers, you want to hit the check mark here. Left click on it to save. So it gives you a prompt here that says DNS server update may take up to 48 hours to take effect. All right, go back to the Netlify website and you'll hit done. Scroll back to the top and let's test our website out by hitting the primary domain name. So left click on it. And as you can see, the website currently displayed is not the same as the website that we uploaded to Netlify. And this is due to the new name servers taking up to 48 hours to propagate. Let's go back here to the domain management settings on Netlify's website. And now we just simply need to wait until our website has propagated. Once that's done propagating, we'll be able to move on to step three, which is getting HTTPS encryption for our website and getting the necessary SSL certificates for the Apex domain name and a wildcard subdomain name certificate. So I'll be back once our website propagates. Okay, I've just refreshed the page and it's been around 10 minutes. I just wanna see if our website has propagated. So I've scrolled all the way down to where it says HTTPS. And as you can see, it says waiting on DNS propagation. So we need to give it some more time. I'll be back with you when the DNS has propagated and then HTTPS should be enabled. All right, guys, I've just refreshed my page and then I've scrolled down all the way to where it says HTTPS. And as you can see, our name servers have indeed propagated. So it says your site has HTTPS enabled and the certificate is from Let's Encrypt, which is a provider of free SSL certificates that renew every three months. As you can see, two SSL certificates have been generated. One is a wildcard subdomain SSL certificate, which covers subdomain names such as www and an Apex domain name SSL certificate for websplaining.com. If we navigate over to where it says auto renews before September 7th, so basically in three months, it will auto renew by itself. Now, if we scroll back to the top here, you should see custom domain names again, and let's try our primary domain name. So the www.websplaining.com, our subdomain name. 
this should work now if we click on it. And there we go, with the name servers propagated and HTTPS enabled, you can see our website is live and not looking too shabby if I do say so myself. Let's navigate back to Netlify and I just want to show you that the Apex domain name, because we put the subdomain name as our primary domain name, anytime someone searches websplaining.com, it will redirect them to www.websplaining.com. So let's click on this just to show you. And if I highlight the URL, you can see that it's HTTPS colon slash slash www.websplaining.com and if we go over to this tab here you should see that it's exactly the same again all right guys that concludes the video i hope the video was helpful in getting your website hosted for free on netlify linking it to a custom domain name my custom domain host provider was namecheap.com and also enabling https covering the apex domain name and a wildcard ssl certificate covering all subdomain names. Thank you very much for watching guys. Remember to smash that like button if you enjoyed the video and it was helpful. Subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions. See you on the next one.